Welcome back to the channel. My name is Lee. Today I have a quick word of prayer and just encouragement, especially to those who are in need of healing. So this morning, as I was spending time with the Lord during my devotion, gratitude time, I was led to just declare Psalm 91. So it's a familiar, it's a familiar Psalms that we all know hopefully and um, normally we read it over and over again there's certain things that come out or become very relevant for a specific season in our life so this morning Psalms 91 verse 5 to 6 for me was very loud and I really wanted to share this with you so I wasn't planning to come on camera but Sometimes it's not about us, it's not about me, it's about really helping whoever needs this message as the Lord would want us to share it. So remember sometimes when you are a Christian or you're a believer, there's certain things that you won't feel like doing in your natural state, your flesh, but because you are yielding to the Holy Spirit, sometimes it's an instruction, just do it okay because if we based life based on how we feel we'll be we'll be yeah i'll be very what you call this yeah it will really be what's the difference between you and the world okay jesus didn't walk about this earth deciding whether he wanted to heal you i don't feel like it he did it unto God and that goes that goes there needs to be the same thing with us as well okay so Psalm 91 says uh, verse 5 to 6 you will not fear the terror of the night the arrow that flies by day the plague that stalks in the darkness or the pestilence that rages at noon so I have been praying with a global Christian community at noon so wherever we are in the world if it's 12 where you live we are praying so the reason why we are doing this is because the leader of the community the global community that we are that we are part of that i'm a part of said that during this time and you can even do some research for yourself during this time but before i actually say that there are eight watches in the spiritual realm eight watches and 12 to 3 is one of those watches okay in the morning and also 12 i mean not in the morning in the noon time and in the morning like 12 like early morning which is dark to 3 is it's another spiritual watch okay so in the noon time the spiritual watch a lot of things happen in the bible in people's lives uh, that was the time jesus was crucified on the cross right the earth became dark and that time of the day is normally, it's not normally, it is the brightest time of the day, right? So Paul, no, not Paul, Peter also uh, received a vision of unclean and clean spirits. That's when God made him see that uh, it's also the Gentiles now who are part of this. It's not just for the Jews, it's also for the Gentiles, okay? And then it was also the time when... Um, Daniel went to go pray, right? So there's a lot of instances in the Bible, 12 o'clock, that significant things happen. But the most significant thing of all, our Jesus, our Lord and Jesus Christ Savior got crucified. He was atoning for our sins. He was, he was taking, God has sacrificed his own son so we can be here and also have access to the Holy Spirit. So just the weight of what was happening just needs to be uh, very clear right so so it's we call this the global community that I'm part of we're calling it the, um, the noon prayer so the reason why for, for whatever reason it's not for whatever reason it's the Holy Spirit so I wanted to give you a definition of pestilence so in the in the verse that I read it says the plague that stalks in the darkness or the pestilence that rages at noon so I have been just today especially especially for people who are not feeling well like people that are sick in their bodies physical bodies and obviously there's other elements of illnesses that go to the mental psychological 
but there's diseases that are very physical like are very visible whether it's cancer whether it's um, just any other form of illnesses illnesses that, that has just plagued somebody right so during this time I just wanted to just pray for whoever is in need of healing and renounce any attack that has been caused whether by yourself unbeknown or whether by by mankind or just the world that we live in because remember jesus christ said that you know you we will have peace and we will have peace in him but we cannot get rid of ourselves from the attacks of the world because the prince of air you know and that's influencing mankind especially people who are not believers they go with the flow they go with what the culture what governments what man is saying they trust in the intellect they try reason with the spiritual realm so the enemy uses those people right it's, and normally those people are people in high positions people who are influential you know but god gave us jesus and jesus gave us a blueprint in terms of how to deal with such things in life but one thing for sure is these things are not are not not gonna happen they're gonna happen they're gonna happen until jesus comes back they're gonna happen until we go to glory okay but once you have made that in your mind that things are gonna happen that are not favorable sometimes you understand what you need to do from a spiritual perspective and how you need to partner with god to help you to have peace to help you to navigate certain conversations right so pestilence the definition of pestilence is a form of disease right if you look at if you look at google research it will tell you it's a form of disease a form of sickness and if you google the word ravage ra ravages so those two words stick out to me and pestilence is also mentioned twice in the psalms the psalm 91 so like i mentioned when you read the bible you can read scriptures over and over like you hear people even myself have experienced this where i've studied the book of daniel i studied the book of nehemiah i studied the book of genesis exodus numbers the whole bible i know it from back to front but there's something about just practicing reading the bible all over again because God will give you a different perspective about a matter. He will show you something totally different that you would have never thought the time when you actually read it. So never think you have arrived when it comes to your spiritual journey with the Savior. You know, some people are very good scholars, good for them. Some people are very good at, 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 at just memorizing scripture. And they, they just don't need to read. Sometimes they think they don't need to read the Bible. But God gives us a fresh revelation every time we read the Bible, okay? So that's just a tip that I wanted to share today. So the prayer that I have around those who are in need of healing. And I'm praying for everybody. I wrote this prayer down because it was so loud this morning. And I really want everyone to just agree with me in this prayer. And also maybe start praying whatever spiritual watch you need to pray in. Maybe it's 12 noon, maybe it's 12 in the early hours of the morning, whether it's 3 a.m. to 6 a.m., 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. I'll link up a link on my description box about the meanings of those spiritual watches. This link also has declarations of what you can say, you know, as you are praying. But you can also create your own declaration so the scriptures for me what i found that i get in when i read the scriptures i start formulating declarations prayers affirmation because the bible says that god's angels are into his word in jeremiah it also says that the the, the lord the lord the lord's angel will look out and watch out for whoever is you know speaking the word of god and really that's why it's so important to memorize scripture because sometimes you'll be just sitting and then, like, then you think of a scripture like how not think of the scripture will just pop it in your mind and that scripture is is here because you've memorized scripture um it really is powerful because once you know the word of god 
that's a principle and god is also accountable to his word you know and i really especially now in our society this world guys is getting crazier every day like i'm not going to talk about the negativity but those with ears those with eyes you need to open them okay because there's just an attack on all spheres of um spheres whether it's the government whether it's the educational department whether it's media whether it's everything is an attack and it's and and it's not hidden anymore you know it's very it's very visible the enemy is is he's losing time and if you read the bible god said jesus said that though in the last days there will be an intensity of what we're seeing like before it was just behind the scenes that you you hear about it or you hear somebody that knows something that knows somebody now these things are happening right within your own family right within your own networks like people that you used to admire on tv are like becoming like you know it's really becoming a lot the intensity of just the kingdom of darkness agenda is not hidden anymore the enemy is out there he, the the familiar spirits the people that he's been using people are being called out it's all written in the Bible. Read the book of Matthew. Read the Gospels. Jesus tells us all of this, okay? So the prayer that I wanted to say is, I renounce any damage from a disease, from a family, from a person that I know, from myself, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> by his stripes, by Jesus' stripes. This I-53 verse 5, by Jesus' stripes, you need to mention that person's name that you know that is sick whether mentally psychologically physically they are sick in their bodies mention their name by Jesus' stripes this person is healed right by Jesus' stripes by the 29 stripes that jesus did um had to go through for us by each of those stripes i am healed right and then say according to jeremiah 37 17 30 17 it says that the Lord will restore me to health. I decree and declare one and two person will be restored to health because the Lord says so, right? And also declare Psalm 112. I will check that scripture again. I think it's 112. It says that I shall not die but live. Father, I put down every principality, familiar spirit, the, an attack during the season of illness of pestilence that is ravaging in your children's life i renounce it i denounce it in the mighty name of jesus christ and as bright as the noon day is so will their lives be you know i have been saying this for some time since i started the prayer watch noon prayer watch with the with the with the team with the global uh, community i've been saying lord let my life and those that i know be as bright as the noon time. If you also look at the, so that's just the declaration that I wanted to pray. So in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen. So just add more to this prayer if you want, but it's really a simple prayer using the scriptures, using what the Lord has, has told you to do. So yeah. So another thing that I wanted to share. So the, this, the, the, the prayer I watched for today, um this morning i mean so yesterday actually i prayed during the noon time no the day before yesterday i was actually working from home so normally what i do when i work from home especially if i'm having a very like busy day for whatever reason that day i was tired so normally around my lunch time i would just take a power nap 20 minutes power nap or 30 minutes power nap so i took an after finishing prayer i took a nap and then i had the most intense dream ever I was shocked that I could dream so intense within 20 minutes of just putting my head down. Always write down your dreams. Excuse me. Sometimes your dreams will, will have a significance, sometimes they don't. And that's why I need to pray to God to give you a revelation if you've had a dream. So just something I wanted to share with you as well. So anyway, I wanted to say you need you need to start declaring 
what God says about a certain matter. As much as things may look as negative as they currently are in our society, we need to say what says the Lord. Okay? I used to be very immature when it comes to my spiritual Christian walk because I didn't see how it connected to my everyday life. But it matters how you journey with Jesus Christ. You know, in the Bible, in Leviticus, or Numbers, something, somewhere there, where it's just giving people too many, so many chances. And then in the in one of the letters from Paul, Paul says that God, you know, it's high time that we become not ignorant. Sometimes, we, especially when we're still still young in the walk, whether you're old but you're still new, whether you're young but you're still new, doesn't matter what age and when you decide to commit your life to the Lord. Sometimes we can be so immature, we do not connect the dots. It says in the letters, Paul says that it's high time that you be that you, it's not like there's no time for you to become ignorant to the enemy's devices. Like before, we could just ignore things and like nah, let's let's you know we'll ignore red flags and everything. This time, 2022. You cannot just turn your head. You know, you need to start praying for people. Pray for our countries, pray for our leaders, pray for our government, even pray for your church leaders, pray for your employees. If you are a leader in the organization, pray for your leaders in the organization. There's just an intensity of just, I call it, I call it the enemies. You know when somebody is running out of ideas on what to do? That's the devil. Since he can't get you mentally, now he will use circumstances around you to impact you. Do not fall for it. Do not. Like, so anyway, I wanted to share this quick prayer and just revelation from this morning. And I pray that somebody takes this and just praise and expand on the prayer share any other scriptures that you can share i didn't even put on my makeup like guys i have to come on and share this with you because these streets are the ghetto okay they're not even the ghetto they they are the desert they are dusty they are scratchy they are itchy and you need to stay moisturized in the lord's book yo i don't even know like guys there's even like in my house i have bible stationed around my house and i have scriptures open you know last night and i think i don't think you, if you really struggling whether you're struggling or not struggling in the season learn to have your bibles opened Sometimes we have these cute Bibles that we don't even read and they're catching dust. The Word of God is alive, guys. I've seen it. When I have faced spiritual attacks and just nonsense, when I open the Bible in my house, like put it in my room, the dining, my study table, I have it open. There's a scripture in the Bible in Colossians that says that uh, we have uh, the word and we we've been baptized as well if you have been baptized as a child or as an adult have your baptism certificate out there it's a it's a form of declaration to the kingdom of darkness this i have been sanctified the blood of jesus has sanctified me i've been brought up from the curse you know and i have been brought into the life of jesus christ it is it is a principle you are not being extra you know, people will say, oh, you're taking this Christian thing too seriously. You better take your your eternity seriously. Like, especially if you have kids. The, the attack that's on kids in this season, it's crazy. Like, I'm praying for my nieces and nephews and people's children across my sphere. But you have to, have to, have to start believing in the God you serve. You, you can't just be a by the way, oh, I'm gonna go to church today. No, I'm not gonna go to church today. No, I'm gonna read my Bible today. 
if you do not read your Bible. The, Bible, the word of God says that the enemy is looking for that small nyanya window so he can enter. And every time Jesus has declared the word in Matthew chapter 4 when he was in the wilderness, the enemy couldn't get to him because he was speaking this word. He got so frustrated and he left. But then it says that he waited for another opportunity. So just because you are you win one battle does not mean it's not gonna come back. <laughs> oh God! Because like I say, the enemy. This is what he does for a living. Like he doesn't have anything to do. You know, if you look at what you do for a living, that's what you do for a living. If you have to look at the enemy, he will he will say, "I come to steal, to kill, to destroy." That's that's what I do for a living. So it is his life's work to frustrate you. So he's good at it. You know, like you're good at what you do. So just try and just get that into your head that you cannot outwit the enemy. You know, you can't be more smarter than him. He he was one of God's best angels. Between Lucifer, Michael, and Gabriel, he was there. He was there. And there you are thinking, ah, uh, clever. Listen, read the book of Proverbs, you know how solomon talks about the simpletons people who are neither there or there they're just rolling with the flow and normally especially when you're a teenager you're just rolling with, now i'm going on a, another discussion you're going on a like a flow I've, I've seen so many people live their life going with the flow never questioning why are we going what are we doing who's gonna be there you know and next thing you know somebody gets shot but that person was just, no, I'm just going with the flow. You cannot go with the flow. Watch the people that you keep. You know, if you read the book, just read the book of Proverbs. And look at when Solomon talks about the simple things. Maybe I should do a study on that. Um, especially with the recent uh, killing of Ashokil Robinson. I'm from South Africa, but that, that lady's death really hit. Like, guys, you are going on holiday with your friends. The next thing you know, you're coming back home in a coffin. How? Yeah. You know, if something, one thing I've learned in my life, I'm gonna make another video for this, but let me just quickly close this one. One thing I've learned in my life is that if if something does not feel right, you know, no matter how much somebody is doing the right things, they quote unquote they you guys are talking and it's just physically everything looks fine. But then there's that something that like bugging you, like you know, that's your spirit side. That's your spirit side telling you, get out, get out, or you will be kicked out. I'm telling you right now, never ignore your spirit, man. Never ignore your intuition. And I'm not talking new age here. Never ignore energies. Like even in a meeting or even in, even when you're about to leave your house, if you don't, if you feel led to just sit at home no matter how much you need that thing for whatever reason all of a sudden like ah, oh, yeah that's an unsettling spirit sit down that is god protect protecting you from circumstances protecting you from people protecting you from stuff do not ignore your spirit and you can try and convince yourself no matter how much oh i've been with these guys forever they love me blah 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 even your family okay even if it's your family never ignore people's energy um i know personally for me i'm very sensitive to people's energy and that's why i do so well in my own space like for me I don't want you in my house and I don't care if you are 
a friend of a friend if i don't know you we gonna meet out in outside in the streets as they will say we will meet in the mall but you are not coming to my house this is my safe space this is my sanctuary even if you are friends with a friend a friend a friend a friend, a friend, a friend with my sister friend you are not coming in my house unless i approve of you spiritually no and um yeah there's certain things you really need to not tolerate uh for me i know one of the gifts that god has given me i'm really super super sensitive to um my discernment is so high and i used to ignore it a lot i used to run away from it a lot until too many things started happening in my life that I was like, uh, God told me about this, but yeah, I didn't take him seriously. Oh, what? Who did what? Oh, in my head, I'm like, oh God, I remember. Listen, more than once, more than twice, more than three times, you need to listen to the Holy Spirit. The Holy, that's why the Holy Spirit is like your best friend, you know. Jesus said, I will leave you with the helper. You know, I'll leave you with the Holy Spirit. He was not lying. Obviously, he's so perfect. He was not lying. He will leave you with the helper. You know. But anyway, this video just became long. But anyway, I have to share this with you guys because I really praying for for just people who are not well, who are sick and um psalm 91 is such is such a power pack chapter it's all about you you will not touch lions and your feet will not touch not thread on lions and clovers if you make the lord your refuge if you 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 so there's a condition there you but everything is towards you the blessings and the promises are towards you but there's there's our role in him in god helping us as well it's not i will it's not, it's not god saying i will i will he says i will if you make me your lord and savior if you if you so just pay attention to the you if you're reading this the bible always pay attention to you there there's your role even when you're reading other people's stories look at what they did that's a blueprint for you as well on how you need to do something so don't try and think i'm just gonna wait on the lord but what you gonna do what you gonna do <laughs> anyway um bye everyone